you you are known as one of the kind of tropes of your career has been dick page doesn't carry much makeup that is one of the things that's yes. said about you yes. he doesn't he doesn't like too much makeup he thinks it's a waste of space and mm -hmm. you know what's the point don't need it right show us what you take it's embarrassing isn't it I is do this... have a lot more makeup than this. This is my. <laughs> this is the current kit. Okay. And it comes and goes. Obviously, sometimes someone wants swapping in and out. Yeah, I mean, we all do it. Sometimes someone wants more or less. I don't carry every colour known to man. But it would be completely conceivable that you would just turn up with this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just came, I just came back from an advertising job with this, um, with just just one girl. But then the job before was a handful of girls and the same kit. And I don't care everything because, you know, you mix things. Um, so what's in here? Let's have a look. Pat McGrath told me that she travels with up to 80 suitcases. Of How? Makeup. Of what? Well, I mean, you understand, if you look at Pat's career, you can understand, like, the Galliano drags, the haute couture, and this, like, if, you, if you need to carry vinyl and sequins and stuff to cut out, and play, then by all, but naturally you do. Um, I don't. Hardly ever use them, but here they are, false eyelashes. I do love range. a falsy. I do. You know. I so like a little I like a little, a little free. A little thing. Sunblock, obviously. Ardell makeup little ones, forever. So drugstore and drug luxe. Drugstore and luxe. Okay. Um, paper towel. Cotton and some sponges. Um, oh, let's open. Sponges, Q tips. This is a tiny kit. I have is seen it? some kits in my time. This is a really tiny kit. Yeah, but what do you need, you know? But this is it. I mean, I could, I could give you a full... Oh, this it's must even smaller than Mary Greenwell's, which bag. is small. Set bag. See, but look, it's half empty now. You've only taken only out two things. Side. Um, foundation. Oh, and your recommendation, this one. It's order. good, isn't I do it? like it. I do like it a lot. For £4.60, it's you know amazing. I mean? it's bargain. So, skincare. Um, some block I just took out already. The Shiseido Ibuki. Um, there's a body lotion from a hotel, probably. Yes. Um, a few liquid foundations. A couple of moisturisers. That's very good. The Marc Jacobs, this... Um, I like that great. too. And it's, the pearl, the particle isn't too big, so this... It's not glittery. ...automatically means I can do a ton of pearly eyeshadows by mixing it with by my makeup. By mixing pigment by in. By mixing pigment into it. So a bunch of foundations, lip balms. The glossier things I like because they're transparent. They're good. Stroke I like cream. stock packaging, do you? I yeah, like I do. Plain. I like... And the small packaging is better. That's an eye cream. That's a freebie, probably, from somewhere. Um, eight hour cream, naturally. Glorified Vaseline. Um, are you using eight hour cream as, as a kind of, as a gloss to mix with things? I use it as a gloss, I put on eyebrows, I put on the lips, yeah. I mix it with things, that, you know. I Jack just, of all trades. Yeah, and the Craftobian Warm Skin Colour Palette. And I don't bother with... So do you, are you mixing lots? I'm mixing lots, I mix everything. Um, Graftobian yeah. HD Glamour Cream, I am not even familiar with this yeah, product. Yeah, they, they have nice stuff. So I use their stuff. Of course it's falling apart because I've been bashed around the kit mm -hmm. for a while. Um, you know, in terms of tweaking stuff with foundations and things, I go to a theatrical makeup product and I'll drop in a little bit of pink, a little bit of red, a little bit of white if I need to cool something down or warm something up. And that's the main event for me is just to mix it, to mix everything. So I enjoy mixing, I play with it, that's what I do. Some mints as a random stray eyelash. There's poisonous brush cleaner. <laughs> Don't drink it. <laughs> More cotton, some tissues, or oh, more sponges. But Dick Arthur, this, this was... is tools. Well, I know, but I mean, I'm... Look, look, okay, so there's... There, look, here's some colour. Right, oh, this is more, your actual some makeup. Some more sunblock. There's some brushes. Two pencil cases of brushes. Okay, we'll get to those in a sec. Show, show me... Oh, this is dirty. I didn't clean Prove to yet. me that you actually, actually have, have makeup. makeup. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so here's eye business. So there's liners, brow things, mascaras... The Shiseido Shimmering Cream Eye Colour is one of my favourite things. That's one of my favourite things I Let did see. before I got fired. Um, I love these. And these, this is like, this one um, is called Sable. And it's the most I amazing. I like these. I it's like It's the most these. amazing colour for blondes, for eyebrows and for eye. And it's kind of a greenish beige. And it's a brilliant, mm, brilliant multi-purpose. Nice nothing, cold. Like tote. a nothingy kind of. Nice. It's got silver and gold in it as well as a bit of green. Right, I'm going to have to get that. If we'll get it before it's discontinued. BR709. Oh no! Oh yes, always. And, I've you know, written about these before, but not this colour. Yeah, and there's a bunch, you know, so there's a bunch of liners and there's some prototype stuff in here, but you know, a, a few blacks, a few browns. These are lovely. So that's the basic eye got? stuff. Well, there's some mascaras, there's some like brow gels. There's a MAC brow gel, which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, these are L'Oreal ones. These are actually not bad. 
I've ones. written about that loads. So not bad. It's one of my favourite brown yeah. plumpers. It's only six quid. Because they get so disgusting within a couple of weeks that's anyway that you want to chuck them down. I mean, that's actually one of the genius things about the, the coloured ones is they don't look as horrifying yeah, as the clear yeah. ones. The clear They're one really looks, sickening. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, the Shiseido Brow Powders. These are pretty good. Those are good. Kind of like nice neutrally flat. nothing. Yeah, dull. Yeah. Yeah. Dull is good. And also yeah. they're bulletproof. So for people who have teary eyes, you can use them as liners. Oh, okay. See, you've got you've got cheap stuff in here, which yeah, is of good. Well, I'm um, cheap. What yeah, everyone? I've written about that. You've got quite a lot of the stuff that I like in here. I did a whole column on that recently. Quite, yeah, cheap and cheerful, not too common. Yeah. That's my tagline. Um, this this is great. This is um I work with uh, this uh, Mayron company for a show last season, and they made the black lipstick, which I really quite like. Mm. And I've been using that on people's eyes, and no one's gone blind yet, so that's good. So for a greasy black eye, that's really nice. Yeah, it's like proper oily, greasy. You know, and nice. it's good. And it's, it just catches in the eye, eyelashes and you leave it and then it's easy to clean up. And that's, again, that's probably another Stefan hangover. Co actual colour in the world. <laughs> uh, a couple of, these are my highlights of the Fisher's Oh, these are great. They, did, I did a, they were called High Beam and Low Beam. And they're really super fine, Ooh, white nice. and a beige. Beigey gold and Ooh, white. That's a good colour. And that's a nothingy, and the texture is like, you know, it's like glass. I love that colour. So those are really good. Those like, like a camel coat, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and those are great sort of multi-purpose highlighters and you, you know, use them. In there. They're not like glittery. They have a nice no. beam to them, but they're not glittery. Um, that's a good basic blush. Nice. Good like nice rose, rose. Yeah. Um, these are used for everything. They make it forever. Boxes. Everyone uses these. We do. We see these a lot. And if you, you know what? If you forget your foundations, you can make a foundation with this. If all foundations got lost, you can make. You could, if you know what you're doing, you can match skin color with this. And I, this has got a, a silver and a gold. This is a new, newish one because I get through these like no one's business. You can do a ton with this. So could you turn up with uh, at a job with just that? You think and do something good? Yeah. And I have them. Um, these are just these are just some actually that's I an eye that thing color. that's really good I like you know what's interesting um, so these are the Mac ones that's a good basic Macy nothingy one yeah a little bit more rosy darky murky mixy things like yeah. everything hi Ralph no these this is not for you hygiene darling sterile conditions <laughs> oh Ralph get your face out <laughs> no you don't stay um, with me Ralph so. You know, good basic thing. This is a Mac Eye palette, which actually was very useful because I've been using uh, theatrical makeup and a bunch of like different stuff for mixing colours in for Southeast Asian skins and different kind of because which are not really addressed by the cosmetic industry. So we get all like all our neutral lights and pinks and yellows and things and the stuff and go through the browns and the reds and the, and the yellow based reds and, and the green. Brown. Yeah. And there's nothing really that has a greeny tone to it. Yeah. And so a lot of um, Indian skins and Southeast Asian skins, you don't have that. And some, you know, even some Japanese skins and some Chinese skins have a little bit of a green, a little yeah. bit of kind of thing and not getting into like, you know, full Tahitian, you know, <laughs> Gauguin territory. But, you know, some skins are greenish. Mm -hmm. That's a really good random it's probably so you're short, mixing well. that so mixing in that with the foundation with cream bases and foundations so we have skin that looks like skin still so we're not making you know brown people odd colors so do you um do you like a super moist skin to start off with because lots of these textures you're using are waxes and, and creams and so on yeah my default is um to avoid powder as much as possible and sometimes things get powdery, and I will powder them if I need to fix something or stabilize it. I'm more inclined to use a matte lotion or something I can put over rather than because you don't read the texture of powder in the same way. But everything, I mean, I work, I'd say 80% of my work is cream stuff. And then powder shadows, things happen. And they do happen, you know, so. So are you quite fingery with makeup? No, or, I'm quite, br I'm quite You pores. are quite brushy. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. pores are big. I mean, I do, I use my hands quite a lot, obviously, and I'm mixing things together, and I do, some stuff but um it's a pore it's not you know like you it's know, funny because the world is divided into two types of artists and it doesn't seem to have any kind of impact on quality it's just what you like i think yeah val yeah. is very brushy yeah she carries loads and loads she's very she's very dependent on brushes yeah. that's how she does makeup mary's just hands yeah turns up with four crap brushes no i like my i like my brushes everything's held together with duct tape obviously it gets smashed around yeah. so mad bright like ones that. That's a good one to have. And, you know, basic neutral ones. Also what brand is that? Have. That's Viseart. Mm. Which are, you know, they're good. I like them. Um, you yeah, know, simple. 
And then this Mac, I love this Mac. Oh, that's a version of that. That's the same one. It's just a bit more used. Yeah. And this Mac, I love like that this, this is Mac Pro. This is a very basic good one. Mostly because it's ochre color, which I love. It's very yeah. rare to find these yellow tone browns. I yeah. love a yellow brown. Yeah. So I got all into that. Again, you know, it's nothing. It's that big. It's great. More theatrical. I love, I use a lot of Ben Nye. Yeah, the wheels. Makeup. Those are great. And they're all hilariously, they're things like old character. <laughs> Everyone loves to see old character makeup come out. But that's great. Yeah, I love a color called Scar. You know, yeah. Or like <laughs> this, one, or this one is called, what's this one called? Um, oh, this is Age Stipple. So I've got old character on Age Stipple. But you're using it as pretty beautiful makeup. Yes. And it's like, it's red and brown. And I love, you know, I, I'm always dropping tone into the skin and just thing. I mean, throwing particularly base colors, throwing them off a little bit because they're always too, that's another fight I've had with companies when they're showing me foundation colors. They're always too bright. They're too clear. Skin is not, skin is not bright. Skin is naturally not bright. Interesting. I talked to John Curran, the painter, about this. One time we were doing, I was doing Rachel Feinstein's, his, his wife Rachel's makeup. And I think could have even been when we were doing a Mark Jacobs thing with Rachel. And you know, she's a sculptor and painter, he's a painter. And um, we were talking about that just in that way that he obviously is you know, an amazingly talented painter, but the idea that skin, you know, skin has a little bit of green and a little bit of pink, a little bit of red and stuff. And so much of the industry is about- Making uh, it uniform. Uniform, and it's usually uniform and it's too bright. That's part of the problem with foundations is they, they look artificial or not unbelievable because they're, they're too clear. They're too- Interesting. Vivid somehow. And that's what sells. People so you're like, dulling them down a bit I'm making something them dull. like that? I like a dull colour. <laughs> okay. I'm a dull person. <laughs> um, speaking of dull, and these, you know, this is Ben Nye again. Like, see, it's this draggy, theatrical, bright thing. But a dot of this thrown into a lip colour or into, a, you know, some, you know it, everything gets mushed up and mixed. The only time this can kind of backfire is if you have to do something. I mean, this would never work in a film situation where you had, had to have continuity or stability or something that we had yeah. to maintain. Yeah, you, you wouldn't making be able things to, yeah. Point by point. So that would be tricky. Mehron again, this is great. This actually is, they gave me this when well, I did a show last time, it's, a, it's called Contour Highlight Palette. I don't know why, because I guess you, people use it for contouring and highlighting, but I use it for foundation mm -hmm. and it's great. It's mm -hmm. a really nice light texture and I, I apply cut cream colors like this with a fluffy brush. Sometimes with a sponge, but more often not with a fluff brush because it's like a stipply kind of yes. buffy, blendy. It's not seamless. It's just like to b blend through things because it's not, not consistent. Like sometimes I'll leave a, part of the face totally bare and other times there's makeup on it and part of the sleight of hand the trompe l'oeil of that is that if you do enough that's real you'll believe the rest of it you won't believe that someone's got naturally like you know navy blue eyelids but you'll believe the it's face that thing wasn't wasn't it kevin or Quan? i think i'm right in saying that would would do a face and then rub something off the end of the nose because if you see the if you see you the see skin poking skin, through there you, you think the whole thing is real you know so these are Kiko Milan. These are kind of great. Again, these are nudes, reds, and nuts. So nude lips. Good sort of nudie lips, you know, basic. Nice. You can see the ones that always get the most, most play, which are kind yeah. of the mauvey, rosy ones, the basic. And a mixy metallic. My lips, but better. Kiko's good, isn't it? It is good, I like it. Um, you know, some reds with a random pink in there. Nuts, these are kind of just like, again, random, really weird things. But the navy, I was just working with um, Chanel, the girl, the, she's Sudanese, and so this blue was really beautiful in the lip, mixed in with a little bit of black and red. So for tone without putting in real dead. color, just a little bit of something, you know. Um, Shiseido palette, which is one of the more recent things with, um, with my good orange and my two pinks. Mm -hmm. Some good basic browns, a little flashback, kind of 90s, like dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as, um, dead Isabella. Salmon. Isabella Blow said when she was doing the line for, thing for Mac, and you know, they were, I guess she was doing an editorial meeting with them, and she said, I don't want to have a mouth that looks like a dog's asshole. <laughs> she wasn't interested in the brown lip. <laughs> so, dog's asshole brown. So that's the colour. Whereas you, on the other hand, quite like that. I do like it. Well, not always, but you know. But they, like every girl, the, the funny thing, everyone talks about that Mac Spice liner. They're like, yeah. well, every girl uses it. Yeah. But actually, they were all using the bamboo liner by Arconcile, the French that, like, drugstore brand. All the, everyone had that bamboo eyeliner, uh, lip liner. So that's it for the colour. So basically, that's, you know, that's my colour story. Yeah. I love that. I mean, it is the most compact kit I've ever seen. I promise. And I've yeah, seen... Yeah, you've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of kits. And I still think it's too much sometimes. Do you? Well, like I said, so this little guy, that Mark Jacobs, that yeah. highlighty stick, 
you drop that into black, you're already on the way to creating a bunch of other colors. So you drop that into black, drop that into red, drop that into navy blue, cobalt, green, whatever, you know, boom, boom. If you've got some good basics and brights and stuff, you can do a ton, you can do loads. So if, it, so if you could just grab one thing, you didn't have time to assemble a kit before you went to a job, what would you grab? It would probably be the Makeup Forever yeah. the, the thing, because it's so malleable, you can, just, you can make loads of stuff out of it. And are these just cheap? Um, no, those are beauty, are, are they, are they those real are beauty blenders. beauty blenders, thank you very much, <laughs> Sally Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just wondering, because Superdrug do um, a rip-off that looks exactly the same. Uh, L'Oreal do a version as well. I've got the, actually, you see these ones, I didn't get to the brush, brush yet, so I haven't cleaned them. That was because I, take, I got back very late the night before last from a job. So those will be, I've got my shampoo, I've got my brush cleaner. But, um, but I use a mix of everything, you know, you see it. And like, the brushes themselves, um, I have the great drugstore, oh, there's a palette knife. Mm -hmm. Because, obviously, nice. you need a palette knife. Paint with Nancy. <laughs> do little clouds. Um, it's a reference for the kids there. <laughs> I'm more Blue Peter and like, you know, vision on. Um, Smith brushes I like. Yeah. They're, they're nice. They're good. Um, Shiseido drugstore brushes. They're, 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 they were called Shui Tools. They were really good. Uh -huh. Those little guys. I like fluffy brushes. I don't, I don't love a sharp brush. Yeah. I don't, like the, I don't understand the flat, square, sharp, boxy, yeah. blocky. I like everything fluffy. A fluffy, dry brush. Yeah, and then if it gets greasy, that's good. I, and, like, and I like, like I said, I, I like putting cream colours. So the kind of colours, you know, I'll use, which is, of course, quite wonk. But, um, you know, these brushes for cream colour. That's a nice brush. You know, that's a, that's a Shiseido drugstore brush. That's the version of it we made for, for the Inui. We took the same brush and gave it a pretty coloured ferrule and stuff. But, you know, so cream colour on these brushes. That's a Charles Fox Rouge Mop, which I love. Because it's Fox. kind of prickly. I think it's probably made from badgers. Or it something. looks a bit hurty, I must yeah, say. Yeah, it's quite. St yeah, Linda yeah. Evangelista did not like this brush. Name drop. <laughs> Linda Evangelista did not like these brushes, so she actually said, "Ow." I'm sure it was and, agony for and her. And serves you right. <laughs> you know, cream colours on big br on a fluffy brush. Yeah. For diffusion and transparency and yeah, buffing and to kind of filter it out. And just you know, and and because everything melts and mixes, and you just like. And it's all. Everything looks like shit halfway through. That's the problem with step-by-steps, because nothing really works on a step-by-step, because, you know, it's mm, all, it's all about it's like with a camera cut away, and you come back, oh, look, it's, that yeah. line is straight Here's what, that yeah. I just did. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one yeah. I prepared earlier, yeah. yeah. It's, like I said, stuff doesn't come out of the kit and straight onto the face. Hardly ever does a pure color, true product come out of the kit and onto the face. Part of it is because I'm thinking about it as I'm working. And as I'm doing this, seeing this is part of the feels. process. And I'm seeing what happens here as what happens here, and I'm building the thing. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a long process. I'm fast on my feet and, I, and I'm adaptable and it's organic. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking and seeing and looking. And a part, like I said some before, I'm talking to my assistants about this. Part of what you're doing is, is looking. 80% of what you're doing is looking at people and registering the face, which comes down to, again, like not just what you're doing, but why you're doing it. You're, have you seen that? Because I've said to some assistants before, I've like taken them and said, you haven't seen this person's face. You've done something to this face, but you haven't actually seen the face that you're You've doing done a it makeup. to. You've done a makeup. Yeah. And it doesn't belong to this person's face. Yeah. Even if you do exactly the same look with exactly the same product, it's got to still look like that person. It's got, you know, it has to belong to that person. I could talk to you all day. I could talk to you all day. Well, I could talk that. to a cow's come home. That's my problem. Um, so fantastic to speak to you. I have, such a, I have such admiration for what you do. I think you're a really fantastic artist and it's just been a huge bonus for me that you're such a great person to talk to. Oh, thank you. So thank you Flattery very, very <laughs> much you're welcome. Uh, for taking part. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Um, thank you for watching and um, do catch up with all the other New York videos, New York episodes of In the Bathroom. We've worked hard to bring you as many as we possibly can. So do watch those too. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for having us, Dick Page, and we'll see you You're next welcome. time.